as um, as you know, I mean, um, you're live on air now with Ignition Radio with me, Mick Pierce. Good yeah. afternoon, Rock, and good afternoon, Pete. Good afternoon, Mick. And uh, thanks for that. This uh, just everybody out there. It's um, Pete Agnew from Nazareth, who we've um, we've got on the telephone today, and you can have a little chat with us. And um, because they're actually just finished a, a European tour. We did, yes. And how did that go? It went very well. I mean, it was uh, it's the first tour that we've done with uh, with Carol, our new new singer, you know. Mm-hmm. And it was, uh, you know, we were obviously wondering how it was going to, how it was going to be received. Uh, and it was great. It was really, really wonderful. You know, the our fans took to him, and we, we've we've had a very successful tour. So we're uh, already. I mean, it's quite it's quite funny actually. The agency that booked it. The, the the tour is almost completely booked for next year all already. Right. So everybody came back. They all wanted it. You know, they wanted to do it again. So uh, that was the, you know that can I can only say that happened. So it must have went okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And now you're doing the UK tour. Yeah, we're doing well. Actually, we're we're doing uh, some shows as you know coming up. Uh, we've not got an actual tour, you know, but but we've got different shows throughout next year will be happening, you know, in different places, in different locations in the UK, but not um, not an actual tour as such, you know, you'll be a couple of dates here, three dates there, that kind of thing, which we quite enjoy doing, to tell you the truth, because you can always, you know, nick away and play a few days and go home. Yeah, okay, <laughs> it's, so it's quite good, yeah. yeah. It gives you a bit of a break, doesn't it, in between? Well, it does, it's, you know, it's, uh, I mean, obviously we like touring in, uh, at home, you know, it's... Uh, it's always the, as, as the guys are all saying, they're still, they're still their favourite pubs are in Britain. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> but, uh, but it's nice to no, it's nice to do two or three days and then nick back up the road, you know, for a few days, and yeah. it's a nice way. It's a nice way to tour, you know. Yeah, it's not too bad, I suppose. I mean, yeah, you're at the Ark at uh, Stockton, which is my that's town. That's right. Aye, um, of course. Aye. On the fourth of December. So, um, what what can we expect there? Any um, what, the well, basically, what we, yeah, well, no, we're actually, uh, we're planning to do, we're actually planning to do a new album at the beginning of the year, and uh, that's what all the talk is about at the moment, and we've got several offers to do that. Uh, so I, I've been talking to, actually, I've been in Germany in the last week talking to three different record companies about doing a new album. Mm-hmm. So that's looking, so that's on the, on the cards, obviously, but we don't have anything uh, that would be playing on the stage from from anything, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, most of it's just in our mind anyway at the oh, moment. Well, I think I've got your, your last <laughs> album, the um, Rock and Roll. Rock and Roll Telephone. Aye. Well, we'll do a, we'll do a track from that, but um, you know you know what it's like when you're doing tours. Uh, any of the bands that have been around as long as us mm. will tell you, you know, you you your tour. No matter what you you call the tour, it's really a great hits tour. No matter where you go, you know the the people know the songs they want to hear. That's where they come in. That's where they pay for the ticket. You know, yeah. the, the certain songs we don't play them. People ask for the money back. You know, oh. so you know, as simple as that. You know, you can't win, can you? <laughs> <laughs> so now you know we're quite happy with that. And, and what what we're doing is is pretty much uh, the the set that we're doing right now is the set that we got together for this this year that we've done. You know, yeah. So it's pretty much the same set. Obviously in Britain. There's always a couple of songs that, that were bigger there than than other than they were in other countries. You know, our, our original hits, for instance, you know, in Britain, like uh, Bad Bad Boy, Broken Down Angel, you know, were obviously very, very big hits in Britain. But they weren't big, big hits, you know, in Europe. You know, they were known. And obviously the, your, your European fans know everything that you've done now. But back in that time, they weren't hits at that time, you know. That's so we, 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 we do we do some songs here that we, we don't... We do some songs in Britain that we don't do in other countries. And then we do some songs in other countries that we don't do in Britain. The same way, the other way around, you know. Well, yeah, you, you have to do that to, um, you know, for your, each audience, I suppose. Yeah, well, it's funny because we've got... Yeah, it is. Well, for instance, there's a song called Dream On. It was never even released in Britain. It was number one for us in about eight different countries. All right. You know, but it was never released in Britain. We we play it in Britain. People go, oh yeah, that's a nice wee tune. Mm-hmm. But you, if you don't do it in Germany or Austria or Switzerland, they do ask for their money back. Right. <laughs> so would you believe? That, would you believe? Yeah. Just on about that that dream on. That was the the song I was going to play. Uh, when we finish the interview? Well, there you go. You should, because we always 
we said that even you know if it was released today, it would be a hit. Mm-hmm. You know, even in the, you know, it's just it's a great song. It's a great yeah. record. Well, I say and I, it was, I like it. I mean, I've got quite a lot of your stuff. You know. And, aye, aye, aye. Well, that was the one that was funny. There was a I remember with that one as well. There was a band, uh, a band in Canada. They covered it. You know, because they loved it that much, and you know, Nazareth was big in Canada. Yeah. So it was a band in Canada covered it, and they got a number one with it. Oh. <laughs> you know? And we never, we never released it. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. They can uh, call, call us stupid. Yeah. <laughs> there you well, go. I suppose that's the way things go, though. Ah, no. You know, um, it's unbelievable. Mm. Um, I mean, I was going to ask you a question about uh, about Carl. Um, I mean. Sure, ask away. I, I know you well. It wasn't really, it's nothing personal or anything, it's just that um, you, you got an, another guy first, didn't you, from, was it from when, Dublin? When I got a, lo- you got a local guy in, yeah, yeah. yeah for, for, you know, and, you know, it was okay, but it, it didn't really work out, you know, yeah. it's, it's just one of these things, it was, it was a, it was a trial, and uh, it really didn't work out for, for either party, um, but we, 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 we were still, we, we, we knew what to do something, or, Pack it in, really, you know. Uh, and we didn't want, as, as I say, at the time, we've, we've told us this in a few interviews, that we weren't looking for a Dan McCafferty singer, you know, sound alike. You know, that's, well, that's not really what we're, we, we need, because somebody would keep getting compared to the other singer all the time. You know, you had to go away and get somebody completely different, you know, uh, who's got a different approach. So what we did is we found a really great singer who sings the Nazareth songs in his own way, but you know, but uh, he does he does uh, fulfil the gig, you know. As um, I mean, da- da- Dan loves Carl singing with the band. I mean, he's seen us, you know, and he thinks the guy's great. So that's that's a compliment to the to the man himself, you know. Um, he's 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 put a new lease of life into the group, you know. Yeah. He's, he's with his presentation and things, well, and it's uh, times change, don't they? Of course, and uh, you see, there's a lot of them. Um, you know, you, you, a, lot, a lot of people come along that that, that, that see us that um, that are old fans. Obviously, they come along, uh, and, and they're directly comparing you, you know, to wh- how things were before or, or whatever. Then again, I mean, we've been doing like loads of festivals this year in Europe, so a lot of people there. Sometimes people are still seeing you for the first time. You know, you've got to realise this, that there are people coming there, and they've never seen bands that they come along to these festivals. They see Nazareth, Uriah Heep, uh, even Status Quo, would you believe, and they've never seen them before. Yeah. You know, So they only judge what they see now, you know, and that's the younger people. So it's nice to be able to impress them, you know. Well, exactly, you know. You know, so, the, uh, so I mean, it's I, been, aye. You know, I, um, I was going to ask you there about um, music these days, you know, compared to... You, know, you mean you mean there there is some? Well, that's my, <laughs> I, I don't want to go there because uh, well, my thoughts are very similar to what you just said there. Um, and I'm, a, I'm a bit of an old um, uh, an old uh, well, I don't know what to call it. No, but, but I mean, you're not well. You're not allowed to say it on the radio yeah, these exactly. days. <laughs> I mean, my 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 head is with the like um, late sixties, middle sixties, late sixties and seventies. You know, I mean, you guys started what about sixty eight? Yeah, the, the, the sort of heyday for 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 band like us and for bands like us was the seventies. Really, yeah. was uh, was was when it was all happening for the sort of what, what, what was called then heavy rock, yeah. you know, uh, or heavy rock pop, or whatever you wanted to call it, you know. Well, exactly. Um, well. And you know, the things they, well, things changed a lot. I mean, the eighties the, the they had all the sort of new romantic stuff, you know, yeah. and the electronic stuff, and a lot of the rock bands disappeared then. And into the 90s and stuff, well, you know, some guitar bands started coming back, and later on you had your, you know, bands like your Oasis and mm. stuff like that, who who did actually do, they did they did all the bands like ourselves a favour because they brought guitars back again, you know, uh, things and and things went on pretty well, and up until I don't know, I, I think everyone went on reasonably well until the X Factor, you know, and now, <laughs> and nowadays uh, there is no music, there's just karaoke contests, you know, well, so... I tend know, to agree I, that, I don't, <laughs> I don't watch the X Factor, to be oh, honest. Oh, I've never, I've never, never, I've never actually seen it, I mean, I've, I've seen it walking past, you know, going through a room when somebody yeah. else has been watching, but I've never actually seen it, I was, uh, 
it's a, it means a bit as much to me as uh, what is it? Strictly Come Dancing or whatever ah, they call no, it. I like that. Oh no, well, you see, I, well, but the thing is, I just don't watch the TV, and <laughs> like, I don't, I don't need TV. No, <laughs> exactly. but, you know, no, 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 I, no, no. You could go, you could go on, a, you could go on about what's what's good and what's bad and what's new and what's old and all the rest of it. At the end of the day, when you know when we're when we're doing a tour or when we're playing, you know that the people, you know, they bought a ticket wanting to like you. Exactly. You know. So you know you're 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 off. You're out of the starting blocks right away. At a good clip when somebody's actually went and paid the money at the door. It says then it's just up to us to say, well, give them their money's worth. Yeah, well, and, come and, see you, haven't they? Then uh, that's it. You know, yeah. you know. So unless you actually play bad or you do something stupid, then you know you, everybody should be happy. Yeah, no, that's that's great. I understand that. What um, somebody asked me that who really inspired you? You know, when you first. When you first started, oh, everybody, you know. I mean, yeah, I mean you're going way back to the fifties now, you know. I mean, I, I mean, I got my first guitar when I was. Let me see, I got my first guitar in 1957. Right. So you know, so we're going back a while now. Yeah. And I mean, I, I mean, it was all the stuff. It was, it was all Elvis and everything then, wasn't it? You know, mm -hmm. Elvis, and then later on, we we heard a Chuck Berry a bit later, and that, and people like Little Richard and. The rock thing, the, the, that whole thing that there was just Gene Vincent and Eddie Cochran and all that stuff, you know, yeah. um, in, in the early days and just everything since then. I think I've been influenced by everyone, but I think in the very, very early days, every, I mean, every guy between the ages of uh, 10 and, and 21 wanted to be Elvis. Yes, you know, yeah, it's yeah. as simple yeah. as that, you know. Uh, then you know, and then th that was the way it was. That was, it was, it was everything was so new then, um, and 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 I think that I think any musician, really, anybody really by my age, was influenced by the same things. You know, that's what made us pick up the guitar in the first place. You know. Yeah, well, it would do. You know, I mean, um, I used to idolise them myself. You know. I mean, you say, I'm, uh, I'm getting on now, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, right, that's what, But see, the thing is, you see, they can only hear us. They can't see us, so you can pretend. Yeah, that's <laughs> right, I do. <laughs> we're, we're on the radio, we're not on the telly. That's right, you know, I just... Um, people, you know, people ask me, you know, why, you, you sound young, and... Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, uh, it, was it was funny, actually, it was a couple of... Uh, about a month ago, or five weeks ago, I did a, an interview with Johnny, Johnny Walker, you know, uh -huh. and, uh, and Johnny, and, you know, we've known each other for a long, 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 long time, 40 odd years, and we, I, and we were actually, when we met, you know, and, and I was standing having a cup of coffee in the front room, you know, the entrance to the studio thing, and he walked in, and he sort of had to look at each other a couple of times going, you're still there. Because, <laughs> you know, we've spoken on the telephone loads of times. We've only seen each other for about 25 years. You, know? yeah. <laughs> you don't realise it, do you? And you, ah, you say, well, you know, you don't, so we don't, at least we don't, we don't sound what we look like. <laughs> exactly, you know. I mean, it's like I say, I've got a good taste for radio. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, yeah, yeah. You know. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. what was that song they had? We, 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 I don't think I remember the video killed the radio yeah, star. Right. Yeah, that, that, to me, you know, weren't they kidding there? Yeah. Oh, exactly, you know. So, anyhow, <laughs> are we live here? Yes, we are. Oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, too late to, too late to say edit that. Okay. <laughs> All right, you know. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, the, the thing is, when I, uh, when I do anything, I just, I'm just normal, and I like people to be normal and natural. It's, it's more so, more entertaining, and yeah, 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 yeah. it is when you, you you've got a you know <coughs> a scripted. Uh, uh, well, it's certainly not scripted. No. no, no, it's never it's never scripted with me. Uh, Even uh, when I uh, when, when you know when I play the the, uh, the tracks and the, the songs and that, it's never scripted. I don't know what I'm going to play until I play them. No, well, I know what you're going to play next, so that's okay. That's you already told right, me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just one other, uh, last one last question then before okay. we go. Um, what would be your um, all-time favourite artist apart from Elvis? Artist, wow. Well, you know. Uh, no, no. Well, I mean, I think probably. I mean, I love, I love a lot of sort of vocalists, sort of singers, I like. But I would think uh, the best in the world uh, for me was uh, Frankie Miller. Frankie Miller. Yeah, Frankie. My f favorites were my 
a fellow Scot and a good friend, and mm-hmm. also just there's nobody in the world got a voice like that. And the feel and the soul and just uh, uh, Frankie Miller's the man. Then there's Otis Redding, who, like, uh, uh, another one that, uh, that I love, but Frankie just, for me, is the best. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> that's it, you know, you always have your, your favourites, you know, yeah. I suppose, yeah. <laughs> Anyway. Yeah, Fra- Frankie could have sung a Heinz Bean advert for me, <laughs> and, it, and, it, and it sounded great. Right? That's how good it is, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's lovely being talked to you there, Pete, anyway. Yeah, cool, Mike. No That's problem. Fabulous. That was great. It was good, it was good for here, too. So, um, I'm sorry I was a bit late there. I just, uh, you know, yeah, it was... No um, problem. It was any time during my show, which was, which was great, you know. Uh, I, I was going to say, you know, so after what we've been talking, I was going to say, I'm sorry I'm a bit late there. Kind of say, I'm getting older now. <laughs> I keep forgetting. When I, I forget what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, so you're not the only one, I tell you that. Anyway, well, anyway we'll maybe good. see you. We'll maybe see you when we get down there. You will do. I'll be there on the night, so it'll be great to have a, a chat. Well, then. come and we'll have a pint ok yeah, that's great, mate that's all right cheers mate ok thanks very much bye 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 bye